Imagine working for just two days a week, but gain better results and income than you do when working a full week. Imagine finding a simple yet efficient solution to your problems that can help you earn money, make a living, find success, and even find fulfillment and happiness. Doesn't it sound too good to be true? Well, it's not. What if I told you that your life could be transformed by following the 80-20 way? You can expect a real change in your life by doing less when you follow the 80-20 method. The 80-20 way can be applied to anyone willing to make a change. There's no longer a need to be a big-time business executive to understand or apply the 80-20 way to your life. Richard Conch in his book The 80-20 Way shows you how to apply less is more and more is less to yourself, relationships, work, and success, money, and generally a good life, and will help you develop a personal action plan to transform your life. Here are the top seven lessons from Richard Conch's book Living the 80-20. Lesson one, realize that by working less, you can achieve more. If you really think about it, all progress in every human civilization involves getting more with less. Nearly 8,000 years ago, for example, humans moved from hunting and gathering for food to a system of agriculture, in which they cultivated land and domesticated the animals. Then an agricultural revolution led to the creation of machinery that improved our productivity. Around 300 years ago, 98% of the population worked on the land available to them. Today, however, only 2-3% to of the workforce in developing countries is involved in the field of agriculture. Yet we produce much more food today than we ever did all those centuries ago, which means we've been producing more with less. When you finally realize that there's no such thing as too little time, you can begin to organize yourself to bring out the most productive version of yourself. For example, when you're in the zone, you can accomplish in just a few hours what would have usually taken a day or more. If you give yourself an entire week to do something, you might find yourself procrastinating and working on random things that are just a waste of time. If you spend just two days a week on your most valuable activity, you should be able to get 160% of the value that used to take five days or more to generate. Lesson two, learn the 80-20 three-step process. There are three steps to make dramatic improvements in your life when it comes to the 80-20 principle. Like planning for a vacation, you first have to choose a destination. Your destination should be a place that reflects what you want, so begin by reflecting on which part of your life is most important to you. Finding the right route for you may seem overwhelming at first, as there are several routes even to just one destination. Therefore, it's important to figure out a path that will get you there the fastest. Richard's rule of thumb is that the most optimal 80-20 route is the one that is the most fun and least worrisome for you. Once you determine a destination and find a route that works for you, it's then time to start moving. Lesson 3. Find your happiness in achievement islands. We tend to dwell on the concept of time when thinking about life. Almost everyone hates wasting it, it always seems like we don't have enough of it, and more importantly we can never get it back once it's already passed. And even worse, why does it feel as if time goes by faster when we're having fun, but drags on when we're bored? Find your happiness islands. These happiness islands are the small spaces of time when we're at our happiest. Think about the last time that you were truly happy, and then think about the one before that. Look for a similarity, a common theme that made you truly happy in those moments of your life. Like were you with a particular someone or something, or doing a particular activity? Then figure out how to multiply the amount of time you spend on your happiness island. Lesson 4. Learn the 80-20 principle for money. Identify what your destination is when it comes to money. Get specific. Define what your goal means to you. Does it mean you have enough to live on for a half a year, a year or more? The destination is entirely up to you. Then find a financial route that works for you, be it by saving or investments. Lesson 5. Learn the 80-20 principle for relationships. Look into the relationships in your life and see in what area they're thriving and how they can improve. When it comes to deciding on which route to take, think about how you can build better relationships for less time and less effort. Lesson 6. Understand the 80-20 principle in a simple life. Focus on the 80-20 destination that you decided on and think about what a simple and good life means to you. Begin by making a written description of your ideal life. Maybe think about the things that you have that bring you happiness. Which of those things do you truly need and how often do you use them? Then think about why you work so hard to buy more. Lesson 7. Live your life guided by the principles of 80-20. The principle of 80-20 dictates that 80% of what we really want comes from only 20% of what we do. In our daily grind, there always seems to be lacking despite all the time and effort we exert into our works. According to Conch, this isn't supposed to be the way life should be lived. In conclusion, the book Living the 80-20 Way by Richard Conch is an impeccable guide to the readers on how to transform their lives to become more efficient in what they do in their everyday life. What do you think is the route for you? Let us know in the comments section. Thank you for listening. If you like the book summary and you want to see more in this category, please like and subscribe so I can create more.
You can also get a free copy of the entire audiobook by clicking the link in the description. Until next time, 